following is an update and technical analysis on the equity markets, cryptocurrency markets, U.S. dollar index, the U.S. two-year and 10-year treasury yield here right off the daily interval. Starting off with the CME exchange, the NASDAQ 100 futures, where we had a scenario termed today as the bad news is good news trade with a decline in consumer confidence coupled with a rise in inflation expectations caused chaos across various asset classes right throughout that entire broad market with today's dovish jolts report that provide a reassuring signal for the Federal Reserve where they aim to observe a moderation in the labor market and a cooling as a part of their efforts to combat inflation. And we had a surge in stocks and bonds with a very uh, extreme rejection of some key major resistance zones off the Treasury yields. And now we have arrived at a very critical juncture based upon this primary reactionary uptrend line off the January reactionary lows with a, a strength of reaction Again, two rejections, two days in a row that we had uh, extreme rejections with velocity off that key inflection point. And when then we had that minor uh, snapback. We had a big snapback counter trend rally based upon the 14.871.48 price support. And we are currently testing the bottom of this primary reactionary uptrend line and the 15.486.30 price resistance called the bottom of the primary trading range. And we have just a plethora of reactionary lows and reactionary highs really across the board where we rejected, back-tested with velocity throughout four days in a row on an, almost an entire week of rejection. And that uh, entire trade there uh, was, again, just rooted for a big move to the downside where we snapped that primary up trend line. And that was, again, met with a wave of selling where I'd added that new 14, 6, 18, 54 price support, which was bid heavily uh, by long traders and or bull traders, uh, only to be re rejected very impulsively right off that key inflection point, withheld the 14.871 price support and had a very nice counter trend rally to the upside, where it has recovered and taken out not only the primary downtrend line off the all time reactionary highs and the 50 day moving average. So that is a very bullish uh, signal, just uh, recovering on a solid daily candle close above that 50 day moving average uh, is a pretty, pretty bullish uh, sign. And again, I would only suspect this as a, uh, a aggressive. With what I would call an aggressive uh, short trade entry uh, with setting some stops up above. And additionally, you have the 159876 price resistance, which was rejected uh, going back uh, the beginning of July there, uh, where we caught this entire short trade setup of consolidation. And that was just good for a stellar swing trade move to the downside. And again, here we are at this uh, very monumental key inflection point with a vast amount of reactionary highs and lows to strengthen the validity of that key transitioning zone whereas you have the moving average convergence in a bullish crossover confirmed bullish crossover continuation pattern there uh honing in to retest their zero line thresholds additionally with the oscillator bull traders long traders they want to see a complete solid candle close tomorrow popping that level with a vast amount of additional economic data being released tomorrow on the non-farm payroll q2 gdp and then a wave of economic data entering into the week of 9 11 with CPI, large September OPEX, VIX expiration, and the FOMC, where volatility may be uh, under uh, extreme direction uh, within uh, another two weeks and so. And, and then that's when I believe the risks start to really pick up there. Taking you out to the U.S. Tech 100 futures here on the daily interval, and we are testing this minor reactionary primary downtrend line. And again, same picture here where the 50-day moving average has completely been recovered uh, and taken out here alongside the 15 281.60 price resistance, major uh, price support resistance, and that has been recovered uh, with impulsive uh, moves to the upside by long traders and or bull traders. With the same scenario here, where you have the bullish crossover in the moving average convergence, testing their zero line thresholds as now. And again, uh, objective with the risk reward arena lies heavily within the short seller and or bear trader. And what I would call an extreme, uh, more so aggressive a short trade setup on a swings trade setup to the downside. Where you additionally have the Stochastics 1033 just surging to the upside in a bullish crossover here. Uh, just a very uh, large, expansive move, which in my opinion has spurred health back into this technical momentum indicator. And if we get that pop, if we take out that primary reactionary downtrend line to all, uh, bull traders take that key inflection point out. They're going to want to hone in on that 15, call it minor price resistance up above again, and then re-challenging the 16,002 price resistance. And that would uh, additionally spur health, just a very vast amount of health. Uh, being injected right into these technical momentum indicator spheres, and that would be a, a very bullish move to the upside, in my opinion. Taking you out to the U.S. S&P 500 features here off the daily animal, where the 786 Fibs retracement has effectively been taken out. Uh, additionally, with the 50-day moving average completely recovered there, again, another bullish sign, especially if you're watching this reactionary. I had hyped up this primary reactionary uptrend line, and we had, were successfully bid really to the button corresponding with the 44.22 price support there, and that entire trade so far uh, has been good for 
much larger moves to the upside, 3.2% in gains. And again, we have that crossover, bullish crossover here in the moving average conversions, just testing the zero line threshold as of now uh, with hardly any resistance up above, aside from the 45, 28 price resistance. Uh, and that will be the turning point, I believe, uh, for any short sellers, uh, uh, bear traders, uh, for a uh, much larger swing a trade move to the downside to go on to retest this primary reactionary uptrend line really at all costs they need to hold that level uh, if they pop that level and take that level out it's going to again infuse a ton of health back into these technical momentum indicators in my opinion taking you out to the us 2000 russell futures here off the daily interval where we are coming across uh, this 1899 price resistance uh, call it a major inflection point a very expansive major strength of price resistance that has just been a multi-year reactionary high and low key inflection point and upon zooming you in right at high, where I had added this primary uh, additional benefit of a doubt primary reactionary uptrend line. And that was, uh, again, retested. And then we went on with the first additional primary uh, trend line here, which was back tested perfectly to the button when we went on to recover it. Where the open, the open ended up having a, a slight rejection move to the downside upon that economic data. And that was lights off to the races, especially for an active and, a, and or day trader. That was good for 2% big move to the upside. Uh, retesting that first T1 target at 1899 price support, where additionally you have a, again, a confirmed bullish crossover here in the moving average convergence and a Stochastics 1033 technical momentum indicator just going parabolic on a complete bullish crossover there, uh, just health being poured right back into these key inflection points where the oscillator still has a lot of uh, a lot of work to do to go on and uh, retest their zero line threshold up above. But again, uh, we take this level out, bull traders, long traders, they pop this level here, it's going to infuse even more uh, health back into these uh, indicators uh, on a prolonged move on a rechallenging of the 1954 price resistance and then additionally i have uh, just continued to hype and harp up this concealed primary reactionary downtrend line uh, off a just continuous amount of reactionary highs and low uh, right across the board there uh, and that would be a one of the most valuable uh, short trade setups if and when we go and uh, go and uh, retest that key inflection point potentially put in a nice clean divergent high uh, for an additional move to the downside which would potentially look like a head and shoulder uh, looking top here if we get that scenario on that back test scenario this would be your right shoulder uh, and then a prolonged move right back to that primary uptrend line whereas bull traders long traders still a long way to go with a ton of resistance up above need to pop that level uh, get out of this key inflection point uh, and go on to rechallenge the 2023 20, price resistance up above taking you to the us dollar index futures here off the 240 minute interval and i had uh, just continued to hype up this divergent high with the negative and bearish divergences that were constructed amongst all three technical momentum indicators and here we are. We ended up having that move. Ended up getting rejected. We ended up having uh, the 104, 104 price resistance on a complete rejection uh, with no solid 240-minute interval candle close up above. And that was rejected impulsively right off that key inflection point. That entire trade thus far has been good for a, a, a minus uh, almost 8 tenths percent of a move there. And in my opinion, uh, this spells a potential sell signal off this primary reactionary uptrend line. Call it the off the July reactionary, uh, mid July reactionary lows there. And that was a very, that was a very significant turning point for any uh, long traders and or bull traders. And we it looks like we ended up back testing this primary reactionary uptrend line. And again, that was spell here for additional sell signal. Whether we have that counter trend rally and or snapback rally, which would again provide an objective short trade entry uh, and a revisit move right back down to the 103.30 price support and additionally the 102. Uh, additional 102 price support and then the 102.63 call it price support for a great risk reward ratio short trade setup to the move move to the downside whereas uh, bull traders uh pull traders long traders they they want to hold this key inflection point uh, price support level really at all costs to avert this sell signal and there will be nothing more bullish if and when we go on to retest uh, the 104 price resistance and take that level out uh, additionally going on to rechallenge that negative and bearish divergent high that had that had constructed there inflicting damage amongst the technical momentum indicators where we are on additionally retesting and back testing off of this major strength of this zero line threshold here on the moving average convergence which has been defended heavily each and every time uh, it has been uh, retested and or back tested and here we are dancing amongst that key inflection point i believe the 103 uh, price support goes uh, that will spell for an additional selling in my opinion and potentially sparking another big equity rally right across the broad markets there uh, and as whereas you have the oscillator uh, starting to sink below that zero line threshold but again this would be a very telling big key inflection point if and when the moving average convergence falls into a, a spiral abyss there taking you out to the u.s 10-year treasury yield here off the daily interval and we are sitting on a monumental uh multi-year 2020 september reactionary low primary uptrend line uh, with significant price reaction right across that sphere that has been just multi uh, dancing amongst this uh, primary uptrend line for years on end now 
and we, here we are starting to uh, potentially retest it. And if we go and retest it, that'll be an objective, great short setup uh, for a move on the 10 year to short the 10 year uh, in a prolonged bigger wave of selling for the bond markets on a prolonged move, a potentially prolonged move to the upside in treasury yields here on the 10 year, or retesting the 420 uh, price resistance up above. That was uh, a really a false breakout. We ended up back testing amongst it, uh, consolidated briefly and snapped in just the velocity of that snap there uh, signified and solidified uh, how crucial that primary uh, price support level was. Whereas long traders, uh, bull bonds, want to see a complete breakdown of this treasury yield primary uptrend line uh, with potential back test on a re-challenging of the 3.91 price support there. And again, a very significant turning point, call it a uh, close to, just call it a multi-year price support or inflection point, uh, which would be uh, need to be defended there by bond bears really at all costs, where you could additionally make the case of the moving average convergence where we have a complete bearish crossover as of now on a retesting uh, on a retest of that zero line threshold and again that would uh spell a very significant turning point where you could even put in a potential head and shoulder here and then the 391 price support would be the additional the ultimate the neckline to the head and shoulder top there and because of this move and how significant it was you could you can make the case for a divergent high with uh additional almost equal highs negative and bearish divergences that have constructed amongst especially here on a jagged uh divergence here in the price percent oscillator and that could spell a very uh, big move to the downside if and when bond pools really step in for a very heavy bid to the upside. You know, to the two-year uh, treasury yield here off the daily interval, and I had mentioned how significant uh, this price support resistance level was, and it was rejected impulsively, especially if you're a long, uh, long bull trader, long bond bull trader of the two-year there uh, thus far. That was good for 4.5% on a bigger yield move to the downside. And additionally, char uh, challenging or uh, a potential rechallenging of this primary reactionary uptrend line uh, correlated with the 50 exponential moving average, call it a dual line of support where short sellers, short traders of the two year need to hold this key inflection point on a short really at all cost uh, to avert a potential yield sell signal where long traders want to see a complete breakdown. Bull bonds, uh, uh, bull bond traders want to see a complete breakdown of potential back tests and a retest of this four 632 price support and again that is a, a major key inflection point in my opinion just with a multitude of reactionary highs and lows really across the board there call it a multi-year price support transitioning zone uh, where short sellers bear traders would need to step in aggressively really at all costs and then i additionally have the primary reactionary uptrend line here off the march 2022 uh, call it the mother of all near-term uh multi-year uh, key uh, price support zones where you have the 200 additionally the 200 exponential moving average hovering and synchronized in it synchronized with that key inflection point and they would need to hold that uh, really at all costs but again I'm, I'm getting way too ahead of myself but these are just uh, additional trade ideas uh, where the risk reward ratio lies heavily to the short side uh, in the near ultra near term for swing trade position taking you out to bitcoin the largest component to the cryptocurrency markets here off the daily interval and we are just trading amongst a very uh, key inflection point off this hidden concealed primary reactionary uptrend line off the november reactionary lows cuts through a ton of wicks reactionary highs reactionary lows really across the board there and that was met with a wave of selling once we snapped that key inflection point i had an additional primary uh additional primary price support level here that was snapped and again that was uh put we put in that daily sell signal there snapped the 28 628 price support correlated with that primary uptrend line and that was met with a strong wave of selling i've added this a new additional 25 9 26 price support uh, where we had consolidated on it for weeks on in here and that is a major turning point in my opinion that will be the new price support level uh, to really watch there uh, at all costs for any long traders bull traders if and when this provides in my opinion a great risk reward ratio on a short trade setup to the downside uh, despite the federal courts uh, issuance and approval of the bitcoin etf where this would be a sell the news type trade where additionally, you have the 50 day moving average hovering in up above with the 28 628 price resistance, additional resistance up above. Whereas bull traders, long traders, they want to see a complete potential back test of this 200 day moving average, uh, hone in here and pop that level, recover the primary reactionary uptrend line, 50 day moving average, and the 28 628 price resistance uh, again would spur additional health. Where you have the bullish crossover set up here in the moving average convergence as well, going on to retest that zero line threshold resistance. Uh, additionally with the oscillator and again that would uh spell for a great full position short trade setup on a bigger move to the downside but if we pop that level and bull traders take this level out to go rechallenging they would want to rechallenge the 29869 price resistance and that entire drop would be very bullish because the entire move would have the entire drop the entire crash here uh, would then uh again be retraced for an additional big challenging of that 29869 price resistance up above 
Uh, and then I would only uh, suspect more buy signals if and when they took that key inflection point out for a prolonged move on a retest of the 31914 price resistance. An additional uh, re-challenging of the negative and bearish divergences that have constructed here going back since the beginning of January of 2023. And these divergences have only grown much larger on a big move to the downside and has only just created a, a hellscape for these technical momentum indicators with these additional bigger drops. Keep you updated if I see any more significance here of the charts. Plan the trade and trade the plan and utilize the risk reward ratio in your favor.